I've got a bit of an obsession with Keithley gear. Not sure why. Actually, I know exactly why. This is an electrometer from 1968. Good vintage and listed as non-functional, so I got it super cheaply. I'll quickly show you what it does and how when not non-functional, and then hopefully repair it for another 50 years of service. The capabilities of this meter are best explained by the mode and range switches themselves. It can measure humongous resistances of up to 100 tera ohm charges down to 100 femtocoulomb and currents down to 10 femtoampere. These specifications open up many possibilities in electrochemistry, semiconductor research and even nuclear physics. But how does it work when it works? Well, the heart of this machine is a fully discrete differential amplifier. In voltmeter mode, it acts as a voltage buffer, displaying its huge input impedance. The ohmmeter mode works like the voltmeter mode, except for an additional constant current source that creates a voltage drop over the device under test. In ammeter mode, a negative feedback configuration is used. Even the smallest input currents can be detected at the amplifier output, because the feedback resistors have very high values. That's not a good sign though. Even though zero check is locked, I'm getting excessive zero offset. And replacing a set of matched field effect transistors is easier said than done. But let's have a look at it before freaking out. Right away one might notice that it looks a bit different than it does in the schematic. There are a lot more transistors on that module to be precise. Those are used as protection diodes only. I found a dead short from pin 1 to 5 and decided to cut off the protection diodes one by one then hopefully the short will be gone before I have to touch the matched pair. But I didn't get very far, because the first snip was a hit. I replaced that thing with a standard small signal diode and boom, song done, repair done. I can also show you the calibration procedure or try to conceive a couple of interesting experiments involving this electrometer. If there's an audience for that, let me know in the comments.